Hi there, and welcome to this introductory course on databases. My name is Garth Schulte. Thanks for joining us here at CBT Nuggets as we take a big look here at what databases are, what they're used for, who uses them, and how you can become a database professional. Now, I'm going to assume that you have no prior knowledge or experience with databases. So in this nugget, we're going to answer that burning question, what is a database? Let's get started. Simply put, the entire purpose of a database is to store and manage data. Believe it or not, data and databases go back thousands of years. The Egyptians were the first of our kind to store and preserve data. They did it by carving it into rocks and animal hide. Fast forward to present time, and we have a much more efficient way to store and manage data using machines and software. Virtually everything we do today on a device, and that device could be anything from a computer to a phone to a game console to even a refrigerator, is hitting a database somewhere in the world. It's either putting data into it or taking data out of it for you to work with. So where does all of this data come from? Well, these days it can come from anywhere and everywhere, but a lot of the time it comes from us through manual data entry. Have you ever been on a website or inside of an app on your phone and you entered your information in and hit that save or submit button? That data is getting pushed and stored inside of a database. Data is also generated automatically. This is even more relevant today with smart devices. Remember that refrigerator I mentioned? Yeah, if you have a smart refrigerator, it is constantly analyzing your fridge to see what's in it so it can generate that list and automatically order what you're missing. But all of that data is automatically generated and stored somewhere inside of a database. So what do we do with all of this data? It's kind of useless when it's just sitting there doing nothing inside of a database. Well, we consume it using software to make sense of it. Software formats it and structures it in a way that makes sense and allows us to make informed decisions. So the takeaway and the bottom line here is that databases are used to efficiently store data and return it when requested. We also have special software known as a DBMS, a database management system, otherwise known as a database engine. This is the software that database professionals use to create databases and all the objects within. Think of a database management system as a container for databases. And there are lots of DBMSs out there, some popular ones here, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Microsoft's SQL Server. So a DBMS is a container for databases and a database is a container for data, as well as the objects used to support and manage that data. One common thing all DBMSs share is this guy right here, SQL. I've been saying it the cool way, SQL, but it stands for structured query language. It's the language of love for database management systems. It's how we talk to databases. And everybody uses SQL either directly or indirectly. Database professionals use SQL directly by writing it and executing queries against the data within our databases. And you and I use it every day when we're on our devices. Again, executing searches or hitting that submit or save button, it's actually generating a SQL statement to retrieve that data. Becoming a database professional is all about learning the structured query language, which is actually a pretty easy language to get the hang of. And one really cool thing about it is all these database management systems support the SQL standard. So you learn it once and you can apply those skills to any database management system. Moving on, why should you become a database professional? Well, data is the heart and soul of every organization. Businesses use it to make informed decisions and also use it to provide their customers with information about their products and services. And a lot of times the information is the product or service. That's just one of many reasons why database professionals and database skills are highly desired in the industry today and have been so for a very long time. They are the keepers of data and play a very important role on every IT team. It's also an incredibly diverse and rewarding gig. You'll not only be working with data and databases, but also the entire ecosystem of tools and technologies around it. You'll wear many hats. You'll be a database developer, database administrator, data analyst, and automator. Database professionals are also some of the best paid folks in the industry. Another big reason to become a database professional is that you will transform into a SQL ninja. And this is a big deal because this is one of the longest running languages in the IT field. SQL has been around since the 70s and it's used everywhere. And once you learn it, you'll easily be able to get around in any database management system. Last but not least, databases really are a blast. And once you get some basic database skills, 
you'll be creating them to track virtually everything in your life and have a little fun along the way. In fact, in one of our SQL Server courses here at CBT Nuggets, which by the way is Microsoft's primary database management system, I show people how to create a Star Wars database to track all the characters in the Star Wars universe, all the locations and planets, as well as starships and the relationships between them. Good times. In this CBT Nugget, we talked about data, databases, database management systems, and why you should become a database professional. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.